In this session, we're going to look at how to create and manage pages. Practically speaking, pages are very similar to posts. The main difference being that posts are usually related to a point in time. A journal entry was written on such and such a date and time, whereas a page is simply a collection of information and exists outside of time. Here in the admin bar is the pages menu item. You can add a new one here in the left bar, here at the top of this page, or as always in the WP admin bar. The sample page that here is the one that came with WordPress. Here on this page, we can edit, quick edit, trash, or view. We have bulk actions that can apply to a group of things. And we can limit pages by date to say, I only want to see pages created in such and such a date range. Over on the right, you can see the author, whether or not there are comments, and when it was published. Let's open up the front of the website and see how this page is rendered. In the top right here is a link to our page. How pages are rendered in menus is entirely dependent on the theme, and it's probably going to be different in every single theme. This theme is 2014 and came with WordPress 3.8. If we click it, it goes right to the page, and there's the title and the content. This page has comments open. Let's try creating our own page. Very similar to a post, we enter our title. We have the media item and the content area, exactly like a post and the autosave created a revision for us and set our page slug. Similar to posts, you can edit the slug to be anything you wish. Also similar to posts, we have the exact same publish box. I won't go over everything in this box again because it's exactly the same. Let's look under screen options and see what we have available. There's page attributes, featured image, custom fields, exactly like posts, discussion, exactly like posts, and slug and author, also exactly like posts. So we won't go over those again. Page attributes is the big difference though. Pages can have different templates. There's contributor page and full width page. These templates are based on the theme that you're using. Every theme is going to have different templates. There's also the concept of parent-child relationships with pages. We'll look at that in a few minutes. And then there's the order. You can set an order of your pages to say this one is first and that one is second and that one is third and so on and so forth. How that order is used is again entirely dependent on your theme. And, just like posts, you can have a featured image. That, unsurprisingly, will be rendered based on your theme. I'm going to publish this one, and we'll look at the front end again. And now here on the right is my new page. I didn't put any content in, so it's pretty boring. Now let's go make Topher's page a child of sample page, and see what happens. Now in our navigation, sample page now has a little drop-down arrow, and Topher's page is a sub-nav. Now again, that's entirely dependent on your theme. This is 2014. Some themes may not render child pages. They may only make the top level pages appear in the nav. Or they may put the nav on one side or the other and make the sub pages fly out to the side. How it gets rendered doesn't really matter to WordPress. WordPress merely wants to give you the ability to create the parent-child relationship in pages. Something else that happens when you make a page a child of another is that the permalink gets the slug of the parent in it, and you can't edit that part. If you click Edit, you only get to edit this part. This matters for SEO, Search Engine Optimization. You want a fairly logical URL structure. Sample page slash Topher's page doesn't really help at all. But if you were making a site about recipes, you could make a page called Beef, and all of its children would be dishes of beef then your URL would say whatever.com slash beef slash beef roast. And that makes a lot of sense to Google, and it makes a lot of sense to humans. So keep that in mind as you're making your parent-child relationships. That's about all there is to pages. You can make as many as you want and organize them however you wish. Some people don't use their blog on their site at all and build a site of only pages. It's entirely up to you.